<laughs> just go to the next slide. You don't need to introduce each other. <laughs> All right. So this is our quick device overview. We've been having a lot of questions in the lab, like, what the heck is your device? So we might as well go over this again. So we have, it's a Bluetooth to IR uh, device where your phone can pair to this device and it can control any uh, IR supported TV, home appliance, whatever, inside your room. And it is based on user proximity where things will power on automatically if you automatically, comp uh, automatically pair over Bluetooth. And um, so how it works, it will just be pulling stuff from like a database or like you can train the, the device to use or to learn IR codes that aren't in our database. And also we'll like have like certain like profiles based on like how you want to set up your device, what you want powered on at certain times. So, Are you controlling this from your phone? Like, I mean, we, 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 have, a we have it we're like, for like music or like, yeah. oh, okay. can, does this skip actually control it? I don't think so. Okay. You can try. Um, so, so why, why do you like, well, what's the need of the product? So all the home automation systems out there, they're pretty expensive. They also require you to buy into their ecosystem and like purchase more of their like smart light bulbs or like stuff like that that are like, and those are like Wi-Fi enabled and stuff like that, but they, in, in the long run they end up being way more expensive than what we're trying to make. And also like one of the main features of our device, since things are automatically powering off when you're leaving the room, uh, you'll end up saving a lot of, on, a lot of like energy usage and stuff like that. And also there's also the people that are just like really lazy and <laughs> just want to like, do things like automatically and also there's people like the elderly where they can't they don't have that mobility to power things on and off uh, and they and with this they'll be able to do things over Bluetooth uh, without getting up. Alright uh, so we don't really have that much hardware our main components would be the PSOC 4 BLE the receiver uh, mainly to learn new IR codes, transmitter to send them, and um, just voltage regulator, make sure the supply of voltage is stable, and uh, a power source, in this case a cell battery. Uh, so this is our 3D model of our uh, most current PCB design. So as you can notice, this is the top layer. Uh, I could ignore uh, the USB and the header pins for now, and those uh, could break off. But that's the approximate size right now, which is a two inch by one inch. The main thing is that the emitters are a through hole emitter, and along with the receiver, we're trying to try a through hole receiver, and it's coming out from the back layer, from the bottom layer. And because of this, we have two different designs. One is a short range design. Uh, that's like you just put it on directly to your IR device. Um, Short range design would utilize emitters that are very low power, um, something that would, you don't need much range to get it, that's why it's short range. And as you can see, the emitter is pointing downward, so it'd be mounted from the bottom. And the other design is the hub design where we're trying to control a lot of IR devices with just one. And so with this one, the through hole emitters are pointing outward. And you can see in the bottom, it's slightly flat, so that way it could mount onto flat surfaces. And the top is, um, would be IR transparent. And yeah, and it needs to have a curved shape to cover all the ranges that other IR devices could be in. And the current uh, model that's being passed around, um, those are pretty much the basic shapes. The exact dimensions and stuff are not set in stone yet because of our final PCB design and minimizing and battery and so forth. Uh, some basic power calculations, uh, mainly the emitter and emitter, receiver and PSOC are the ones that are going to use the most power. I'm pretty sure that current is incorrect for active PSOC, but well, either way it's still, uh, the emitter is still comprising most of the power usage. So um, among emitters, the uh, 
optimal forward current is about 20 milliamps. So between um, emitters for our device, it really doesn't matter uh, in terms of power. The estimated battery life is about nine hours of active mode. Uh, next. Uh, here's some basic bill of materials. The first page is our main components of BSOC, uh, our PSOC BLE battery receiver. And then this is our, all our passes. Our total approximate price is about 894 without the enclosure. So, yeah. So our competition is pretty much just a few smart home automation systems like Nest and SmartThings Hub. The bad thing, or the thing that we try to improve on with these is the Nest, for one, it's really expensive, starting price of 250 just for the thermostat, and then you still have to buy their camera, use their app, and kind of build into their ecosystem like Kenneth was talking about earlier. We try to avoid that at all costs, so we want to just be able to stick on the device, forget about it, use it whenever you want. And the SmartThings Hub, it, it was, it's able to connect different devices, different smart devices over Wi-Fi. So that means you still have to go out and buy your smart camera, you have to go out and buy your motion detector, and then connect them through this hub where you control with the app. Um, likewise, we just want to be able to stick something on and kind of forget about it and go. So just a quick rundown of like how IR works in general. So this is the signal that's being taken in over like a Soleil logic analyzer. Uh, we have IR in right here, and What's happening is whenever the signal goes low, uh, that's when the LED is being emitted at the rate of 38 kilohertz. And that's what you see right here that's coming out. Uh, we have it being modulated again at 38 kilohertz with a PWM. And that's, so you can see that these signals are pretty much the same, except this actually has it filled in at 38 kilohertz. And here's just like a quick rundown of the software. Uh, how like the current room, uh, it'll be able to detect like where you are, what room, and... You guys have this in your video, right? Yeah, you I mean, you can just run down it. Okay. Yeah, remote. yeah, just skip all of this. <laughs> all right, so power. Um, this is updated from last time, since uh, last time we, some of our designs had our PSOC powered directly by this battery we didn't want that anymore so now it's regulated um, and yeah that's that's it with power and a communication diagram of how the receiver and emitter they're uh, communicating over a GPIO pin and then the PSOX communicating to the phone over uh, BLE this is pretty simple the inputs are just connection disconnection on Bluetooth and then the IR input which is um, when it's trying to learn something and the output is just the IR emitter sending out a signal to whatever device. And state diagram similarly is just three different states where it's sleeping, transmitting, and learning. Sleeping is obviously just when it's not doing anything, it's saving power. Transmitting is when it's sending out a signal to a device. And learning is when you're trying to learn a, a code from a TV remote that maybe the roof doesn't know. Uh, this is the commercial you guys have seen before. If you guys want to see a progress video, but I don't I think, think we've seen it. The, the marketing video? Was that what you made last quarter? Yeah. Oh, well, forget this it. Is, yeah, this is the progress video yeah. with my beautiful face as <laughs> thumbnail.
we figured out that our emitters were about four times more powerful than our original, <laughs> so we decided to make our new PCBs around those emitters. So we decided to add two parallel two hole emitters on the board to regulate the voltage for the supply voltage. In terms of the software, we are iterating and testing to see what the best for this is a live demo of our device working. Here it is sitting next to our receiver, and we're just going to show some functionality of it working. Thanks. 